You're listening to KEXP 90.3 FM in Seattle. You can find us online at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters. I am so excited to have Chastity Belt live in studio today. I used to spend so much time alone is the brand new album. I don't know if you knew that Time to Go Home was one of my top 10 records of 2015. I had high hopes for this new record and you exceeded them. So I'm really excited to have you playing these songs live on air today. Glad to be here. Thank you so much for coming in. Live on KEXP, it's Chastity Belt. Live in the KEXP studios, Chastity Belt, the new album, I Used to Spend So Much Time Alone, out on Hardly Art Records. It's so exciting to have them in studio here today. They've got a show coming up on July 29th, Saturday night at Obsidian, that's in Olympia, and always fun to see them live. And again, we're very happy to have them here in the KEXP studios today. We're having an 
instrument change right now, and then another song from the new album. Here's Chastity DeBelt, live on KEXP. New music from Chastity Belt live here in the KEXP studios. Songs from the new album, I Used to Spend So Much Time Alone. And so great to hear these songs live. For new fans, can you go back, gosh, it's been six or seven years now that you've been doing this, and just give us a little review on how all of you met and started playing. If I remember correctly, this was a first band for some or maybe all yeah. of you. For all of for us. For all of us. Yeah. We all met in college, yeah. Whitman College. And in Walla Walla. In Walla Walla, Washington. Yeah. Any chance I can get to say Walla Walla. I know, it's fun. <laughs> that is super fun. I mean, what was going on? Did you meet as friends? Were some of you not even musicians and maybe picked up an instrument for the first time? Or Yeah, Gretchen over here on the drums. Yeah, she played guitar. I, learned, I took guitar lessons in college. and But for this band, I started playing drums by default because everyone else here already knew how to play their instruments. So. <laughs> Our very first show, we wrote this like joke song, and I was playing guitar, and a Annie was playing drums, and Lydia was playing bass. 
But I was just playing the exact same chords as Julia. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't really doing anything. And we were just like yelling a lot and stuff. There's a lot of humor in your music and uh, it just sounds like you started by wanting to have a lot of fun. So how did it work out that you thought, let's make a record like the first time? Actually, um, our friends at Help Yourself, small local label, uh, they just like approached us with the idea and we hadn't thought about recording or anything. We were just but like, before oh, that, that's uh, a thing. Peter. From yeah, before York, that, when we first we put out EP. like an EP. That was our first recording experience. It was just in. Yeah. But both Someone's those times house. were like, oh, I don't know. I guess we could do that. Yeah. It like, wasn't <laughs> sure. really our idea. Yeah. <laughs> in either, yeah, in, in, in all situations, <laughs> it was not our idea. I, I ask because I, I don't like to say to someone, this is your best record yet, because then they're like, did you not like my last one? So I just want to start by saying I love the first record, No Regrets, but I mean, without a doubt, you've gotten stronger and stronger with each record. You know, you started quite young and you just get better and better as songwriters. I assume more opportunities to try new things in the studios. I'm wondering at what point did you think, you know, this is this is something that's going to go on for a while. And what things have you kind of learned along the way um, that you're put that you put specifically in this new record, which is outstanding and so strong? We're just it's a very long learning process. We're learning. Yeah. We're yeah, learning a lot. It really happened like in little steps. Yeah. Like even just when we graduated and we were all like, what do we do now? And we had played a couple of shows in Seattle and we we're like, I guess we could. Just move there and play show like yeah. we could get another show there <laughs> yeah. were any of yeah, you from could... here or did you just all four move here to a new city together i'm from tacoma okay so it's a hometown but yeah. we're from but we're all from all over from elsewhere michigan mm -hmm. california hawaii yeah it yeah. feels like there was never a point where it's like oh yeah we could keep doing this it was just always like the next yeah, it's show like, or yeah. the next thing in practice. <laughs> yeah, yeah we kind of just recording. assumed. We were like, oh, seems like it's going pretty well. Yeah. Is that how it still feels? <laughs> Three albums <laughs> in? Definitely. And tons of fans. <laughs> no, I know, it's kind of like, woo. Yeah. No. Um, yeah, it's, it feels good. It kind good. of is how it feels, though, a to little, some little, degree. To some degree. But it definitely seems a little more serious now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got lots of fans, so you've got a little bit of responsibility, and then you've got the wonderful support of Hardly Art, mm -hmm. uh, part of the Sub Pop yeah. family. Yeah, they're so great. Yeah. Um, I know it sounds like you have so much fun on tour. Do you feel like you've been able to find that nice balance between touring and home life? You hear so much from bands that come back from a tour, and they live in that insular life, and then they just sort of feel adrift when they come back home. <laughs> we I definitely experience that. <laughs> it's always Every a difficult time. transition. Yeah. Um, Every time. Even though we've been doing it for so many yeah. years, it's still a challenge. It's just a weird way to live, yeah. but uh, touring's best, really fun. It's the best yeah. way. I'm happy I think to we're getting better at the touring part, like making that feel really sustainable. Definitely. But the transition home is always... It's is, always weird. It's like, well, what do I do? Yeah, it's yeah. like <laughs> a couple weeks when you're just like... <laughs> Well, yeah. what's the year ahead look like for you? Where are you now in the, we're touring or staying home? We're about to leave on a West Coast tour on Saturday. And then that's just a couple weeks. And then in September, we're heading to the UK and Europe. Going to do about three weeks there, I think. That sounds fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Very fun. Well, UK and Europe, Chastity Belt's coming for you. So look out for that. Watch out. Watch out. Yeah. <laughs> The new record, I used to spend so much time alone. And what have you got next? Something else. <laughs> Just a little something else. <laughs>
Nice. That is Chastity Belt live on KEXP. Songs from the new album, I Used to Spend So Much Time Alone. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. Julia, Lydia, Annie, Gretchen, it is so great to have you here. That sounded amazing. Have a great time on tour. Thank you. Thanks so much. You've got it tuned to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.